Hello, guys, this is Dream Sword. Holy shit, we've got people here. Oh, we're coming to take over Archie. Yeah, introduce yourself. What in the world were you even going for? Who didn't give him his pills? <laughs> his, Hi, everybody. His prescription ran out. That's no excuse. Yeah, it is. I'm not paying for him. So, this is... I guess I'll get to that later, but this is, uh... For the skits in this one, if I use them already, I'm sorry, because I had forgotten what skits involving Arch I had already used, so I just, like, I'll just take two that I like and then just slap them on here. And so, if these are repeats, I apologize. But yeah, this is, like, when you first meet Arch and she, like, pulls rank on you. Wow, what and a bit. Mormo has to be a douche about it. <laughs> when is Mormo not a douche? That's true. His entire existence requires a douche label. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the last of the treasure hunt quests. Uh, basically, as I've as you've probably heard in the other ones, this is where you're only allowed three people. It's a three on one, but on the opponent side. And this one is Arche, who is the easiest out of the three, and it's kind of sad, honestly. Plus, it's better. Yeah, yeah, he is. You just like him because of his hat? It I helps. Do. Who wouldn't like his hat? I like his hat. He, he, I like Klaus's hat. Like, isn't that what makes him as a character? <laughs> kind of. <Kind. laughs> Duh. But uh, I was actually surprised about this one, because I actually did not remember who the third one was for the treasure hunts, and and that's also why I was kind of scanning through the quest list uh, at the beginning there, so I just chasing quests right away, because strangely, even though there was no quest for him if the treasure hunt quest is on the list chester won't join your party like literally so i was like oh so is the third person chester and then no it, it wasn't so i guess chester doesn't want to beat up his girlfriend not today <laughs> wait arche wait what arche and chester are a thing i thought it was arche and klaus no no or Clarth, whatever you nah, call Clarth it is already practically married he's yeah. got a a nice lady friend. And she's playable in Narakiri Dungeon 2. I've never actually... I guess I never got that far in Fantasia. We watched the... Oh, they don't mention it in the, in the movie. Yeah, they don't mention it in the movie. As long as it's not fucking Mint. It's kind of... Mint doesn't exist. It's funny, because in Narakiri <laughs> Dungeon, the first one, mm -hmm. uh, you meet him, like, after he... They've split up, and he's, like... He's gone, like, alcoholic, and he's, like, drinking up. <laughs> can he still summon people when he's drunk? Yeah. Probably. Yeah, he can. Oh, God. I can summon gods while drunk. I am Origin. <laughs> yes. Delicious. So, ben, delicious right, vomit? Son. Nick hasn't ever... I don't think Nick has ever commented on Fantasia. So while I'm just skipping through this dungeon, you have anything to say about that, Nick, uh, that game, Nick? Uh, I didn't beat Fantasia. I played it until, like, Sylph. The Sylph, like, place. Yeah. And lost the game. <laughs> I don't know where I put it. You did watch the movie with Ryan, though, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, we did. I do enjoy Fantasia. Mint, not really my cup of tea, but... Mint's not a character. I don't and really she's, understand And Mint. she's the best healer in the series. Is she really? Yeah. Yes. It's kind of sad. That's... Mm. I mean, that's not really. Cool. She has nurse and haste. You don't need much else. She's a Methodist. Yeah, that too. Well. I mean... <laughs> I mean, you know, that's just a bonus point. Hideo Baba wanted to bring conflict in her beliefs, so she made, so he made a Cressa Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really? Explain no, everything. that was a joke. It'd be funny, though. I was hey, gonna say, like, there. that's oddly weird. Oh, look, it's Bitch Face McGee. Nah. See, told you. Wormo got on screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. Like a Bitch Face McGee. You can't tell, none of us like Mormo. <laughs> Mormo is ass. I'm okay with them. No, I you don't like Mormo. Say. To give Arche a chance, I purposely play kind of poorly here so she can just show off her magic attack. Like, that's how what they try to do to uh, make her somewhat threatening, is that they make her magic attack sky high. And she also does not stagger, similar to Ruti, or at least not very much. But really, she's nothing. Right, play poorly, you say? I did. Now I watch. I'll play a lot better as soon as I revive myself. Yes, cast cure on the dead person. But, yeah. The AI is very intelligent. Oh, clearly. Still better healer AI than Estelle and Vesperia. Oh my god. Like, 
from someone who used to play Vesperia a lot, trust me, I know, she's god-awful. <laughs> yeah, this is why you just have Raven spam Love Shot. But... I played as Raven. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so basically, she doesn't have very much life, either. So you can kind of just whack her to death, and it'll, this, this battle will be over soon, so don't worry about it. Okay. You whacking her broom? Yes. Her broom? In a manner like, of speaking. Oh. Why is her broom, like, weirdly curved? Magic. Basically, yeah. Magic. No, I know how, but why? So she doesn't For slide off reason? if she comes to a sudden halt. Yeah. She's just happy to see you. That's gross. And funnily enough, Archie's one of the best mages in the series because she can fly. No shit. So... Can't you change her, uh... Change her, uh... Elevation? Is that yeah, the right word? Yeah, she can do that, yeah. She can, can also do fly. Do you, do you not see her flying there, Ryan? I see her flying, but I didn't know if you could, like, make her go up or down. Yeah, you can, and you can avoid a lot of enemies in this game by doing that. It's kind of funny. Yeah. Like, I think even Wittershin has a hard time hitting her when she's at the top of the screen. God damn it! <laughs> I can break in the game. Yeah. Well. Mind you, Wittershin can still hit her. Yeah. And there you go, she's dead. She has, like, no life at all. Jesus Christ. And that's why Eugene is the best. <laughs> yeah, he's decent. And he's you best. get treasure. Quest complete. So yeah, that was all the treasure hunter quests. And now we're going to see what your reward is for doing all this work. Nothing. Warm up to you? No, not nothing. If it were nothing, I'd be playing that clip of the dude opening the treasure chest and going, Nothing. Nothing worthwhile. You get... A title! So nothing. <laughs> and that title's effect is that you have a slightly higher chance to get things from search points. So nothing. Which, by this point in the game, you don't need search points because you've already crafted everything under the sun. So you basically get nothing. Our chase is pretty funny. Yeah. Pick a team, damn it. How do you hook up with each other? Oh my god. Momo breeds asexually. <clears throat> I wish. No, through mitosis, that means, guess what, there's gonna be more, just like him. So basically what Mormo's saying is that his race reproduces via G-rated mind link. I guess. Oh! That's lame. Yeah. Archie's really sad about that, like, far <laughs> too sad. <laughs> you won't have sex? Well, she wasn't a virgin in Fantasia. Well, I'm not making that up either. She literally wasn't. It's a, it's a thing. It's a character trait. Indeed, she's a promiscuous little girl. Blah blah would... blah. Caring for others, peace and good. We get it, Mormo. Let's end this episode. What did you mean it would explain her pants? <laughs>